Hello guys, right thanks for watching this one, um, just a little short video today, Today, um, just wanted to get this one on video because it happens and it's not nice and I just wanted to show you what I found today. I've been called out to a job where uh, an elderly lady has uh, a really bad TV picture and so her daughter has arranged for me to come today so she can be here, um, which is always you know, the best way forward. Um, unfortunately, another company has been here, um, I would say, within the year, because there's stuff fitted here that's, you know, it's, it's looking brand new, but um, there's no documentation, um, but it's, um, it's shocking. Um, so it's something I wanted to show you and to, point, and to point out, you know, this stuff does happen, and to, you know, advise that you always use, uh, you know, a recommended installer. Um, <sighs> to your local area you know um, a CAI registered installer ideally um, like myself um, but yeah so I'm gonna get up the ladder and show you what somebody else has done and yeah it's blown my mind all right okay so let's have a look at it okay guys right I'm up on the, the roof now where the aerial is and that's it there not sure if you can see that Hopefully you can, but... And this is the cable that the that aerial was attached to. It's just an internal flow lead. Just taped up. So... A professional, I say in inverted commas, has come along, seen that the lady has poor signal and just bodged uh, a wideband cheapy aerial from Screwfix with some cheap coax up onto an old satellite dish, run it into the house and connected it up to an old skybox, directly into the skybox, which I've just disconnected completely. So, yeah. Okay, so yeah, there you have it. Um, yeah, it's it's interesting and sad, isn't it, really, that that happens. Um, she's called, um, you know, she's found a company online or in a on a you know in a magazine or something, and rang them up because her TV picture is playing up, and somebody has come out and said, "Yeah, I can fix that," and basically got an aerial real cheap aerial from screw fix you know that's not that's not a trade supplied aerial i can just tell that it's, it just isn't it's from screw fix or amazon or something and the cable was rj59 cable it wasn't even rj6 rg6 cable um which is the cheaper kayaks anyway uh and they've literally just bolted it to the arm of the satellite dish there's no way of aligning the aerial in the correct way by doing that. It's just plonked up there in the uh, pointing A direction. But it's not the right direction at all. It needs to be a lot higher because in this area where the aerial was fitted, you need to get your signals from a long way away at the Mendip transmitter, which is a long way from here. Um, so it needs amplification. It needs to be higher up. It needs to be a grouped aerial, a K-band aerial. Um, a, a, sorry, group K aerial which is designed to pick up the frequencies in a certain uh, bandwidth. Uh, that was a wide band aerial, so it's designed to pick up everything it can, which is the last thing you want to do off the Mendip transmitter because you could pick up all sorts of interference. Um, so yeah, it, even, even though it was badly installed, it, it was the wrong sort of aerial anyway. It's a wrong aerial, poorly installed, and it was installed incorrectly with the reflectors the wrong way around. I mean, somebody has turned up there saying, yes, I can fix that for you and clearly hasn't got a clue and taken money from her. And the saddest part of it is the lady is in her 80s and has Alzheimer's and she has a carer come three times a day. So, you know, it's, yeah, you make of that what you want, but the uh, the daughter found my advert and uh, gave me a ring and I just turned up and saw that. I thought, I've got to get, you, get a document of this. So, yeah, it's all fixed now. Proper aerial up high on a pole, going through an amplifier, tested the signal levels, changed the power supply unit, and it's all working good, and they are very happy. But just, yeah, it's one of those things. 
always use a professional in this in this trade you know uh people don't go out there said yeah i could stick an aerial app fine if you're going to do it yourself at home go for it it's not going to kill you if you get it wrong but you can't go around charging people for something you have no idea how to do and i'd love to know if this is happening in your area or if you've had a similar experience in your area please leave comments below uh, let us know what company did that um or you know <sighs> Even if you don't want to leave the company's name, just let us know if it's happened in your area and I can speak to you privately and let us know what company has done that. But yeah, that's beyond, that's beyond ex acceptable. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, hopefully you get another video on soon. So yeah, enjoy and like and subscribe to the channel as per usual. Cheers.